Royal Australian Navy's nuclear submarine acquisition project has been in the making for three years. What next? Australia, the United States, and Britain have axed barriers to sharing defence technologies, a significant boost for the AUKUS alliance. Now, 70% of defence exports from the US to Australia, previously under the International Traffic in Arms Regulations, ITAR, will be license-free. Thank you, and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive a notification when new content is released. The move paves the way for faster approvals of sensitive defence exports and is a significant advance for Australia's aim to acquire nuclear-powered submarines. The cutting of red tape is also expected to speed up the development and production of advanced weapons such as undersea drones, hypersonic missiles and quantum technologies by the AUKUS partners. Under Pillar 1, Australia will spend up to $368 billion by 2055 to build a new fleet of eight nuclear-propelled submarines in Adelaide, which will enter service in the 2040s. Pillar 2 of the deal concerns sharing and developing advanced military technology, such as hypersonic missiles, undersea capabilities, and artificial intelligence. While the Royal Australian Navy is waiting for a nuclear submarine, the US Congressional Research Service document argues that Australia could redirect some funds to alternative projects offering long-range strike power, such as B-21 Raider stealth bombers and missiles. Shipbuilders in Australia would continue constructing the nuclear-powered attack submarines, known as SSNs, to be operated by the US and British navies. Australia, instead of using funds to purchase, build, operate, and maintain its SSNs, would instead invest those funds in other military capabilities, such as, for example, long-range anti-ship missiles, drones, loitering munitions, B-21 long-range bombers, or other long-range strike aircraft, the US Congressional Report said. Global Defense Corp previously wrote a letter to Deputy Minister Richard Marlas urging him to finalize a deal to purchase the B-21 bomber, which it considers a worthy addition to the country's military arsenal. The batwing-shaped aircraft is packed with state-of-the-art technology and is coated in advanced materials to make it harder to detect. A report by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPI, in 2022 said Australia could acquire a B-21 force for about $30 billion. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Visit globaldefensecorp.com. Follow us on X, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram.